how is Chicago treating you? Great. You know, um, I was pretty nervous coming up here. You know, um, you have to wonder how you're going to do in the interviews with the GMs, how you're going to perform on the court. But um, once I got out there, you know, and I performed well, I had interviews well, I just it was a relief and it felt great to be here. How well suited is this format for, for you to show off your, your strengths as a player? Um, it's very important. You know, um, I didn't have a year that everybody expected me to have at Kansas, so I'm a little behind. So, you know, I have to work harder than the rest of the guys out here while I'm in Chicago. What kind of role can you play in the NBA? Um, you know, a score, somebody who's going to work hard on and off the court. You know, um, he's going to give it all he got day in and day out. Just a hard worker. Are you a point guard is that, or are you more of a combo? Um, right now I'm a combo guard working on being a true point guard. Do you think that in today's NBA, uh, does that matter? To be honest, um, no, not really. You know, you have guys like Russell Westbrook, you know, Dark Rose, who played in one but can score and distribute. So that's the type of guy I'm trying to be. Do you think that had you went to a smaller school, maybe where you could have been the man, would you be in a different position right now? Um, honestly, I honestly don't know. You know, um, I really don't. It really doesn't affect affect me now. You know, um, I don't regret going to Kansas. I loved it. I had a great, great experience there, and I had fun there. So, I don't, you know, I don't look at the past right now. I just want to hear my name get called, regardless of where it is. You know, first round, second round. I'm just going to continue to focus on the basketball court and let everything handle itself. What kind of guy are you off the court? Um, I'm a fun guy, you know, like to have fun. I go bowling, go to the movies, you know, um, be around my teammates, be around my family. Just a guy, you know, who, who like to live a normal life. How uh, the interviews that you've been doing with teams, have, uh, what kind of questions have come up? Um, you know, they, they question about what happened at Kansas, you know. Um, they ask the biggest question, you know, and the hardest question to ask is, um, who's better between the Morris twins? I get that all the time. Who's better? And that's the toughest question to ask. What if I put two photos in front of you, just their headshots? Would you be able to say which one's Markeith, which one's Marcus? Of course. Really? Yes. Markeith. Markeith head is bigger than Marcus. So that's, that's how you can tell the difference. Uh, just talking to them yesterday, they seemed like, like great guys. What, what was it like to be around them this year? Um... It was great, you know, they was kind of like big brothers to me, you know, um, when I was down on myself, they used to pick me up, you know, we played video games together, went out together, went bowling together, so it was a, it was a brother thing. How much of this year was a maturation process for you? You've always been the man, you know, on every team you've been on pretty much. Um, was, was this a humbling experience? Very humbling, you know, um, not, not being that guy, you know, being a fourth or fifth option, you know, it was hard for me at first, but you know, you have to put the team in front of yourself at times, and um, that's what I had to do. So at the end of the day, you know, it was it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. What kind of coach is Bill Self? He's a great coach. You know, he's going to get the best out of you, you know, day in, day out. You know, if he see you doing something wrong, he's going to fix it. He's going to make you a better player. I hear great things about Danny Manning. Everybody always says what a great assistant he is. Can you give me some specific examples of, of why he's such a highly regarded guy? Um, you know, he's been here. You know, um, he been where we want to go, so, you know, um, he tell us the things, the keys that's going to get us there, the things that will keep us away from there. So he just, you know, he just help us mature on and off the court. He's a great guy, great guy. How important is it for you to get drafted really high? Um, like I said before, you know, it's not important to me to get drafted high. I would want to, you know, but um, to me it doesn't matter where it start. It's all about where you finish at. In five years, where do you see yourself? Um, I see myself playing the NBA, you know, um, a wealthy man, and um, giving money back to my city, which is Baltimore. That article um, about your, your background, um, that, was that, is that, that really how it was? It was pretty tough stuff. That's, that's what really happened. You know, um, everything that happened in that article is true. How, how much of a role did that play in the person that you are right now? Um, it made me mentally and physically tough. You know, if you can escape from Baltimore, you can pretty much escape from anything or face any challenge. So that was a big thing. Why does Baltimore produce so many great players? Um, like I said before, you know, um, it makes you mentally and physically tough. You know, um, if you want to stay out the streets, you're gonna play. You're gonna play basketball all day long. So if you doing if you're doing something so much, you know, it just become a habit. You become good at it.